Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault. I am here at Motor Royal Hyderabad and guess what? Parked right behind me is the very definition of beauty and performance and lunacy. So let's get started with the walk around cinematic feature of the MV Agusta F3RC AMG edition. I keep thinking of myself, maybe things will change. But you don't show it if I'm really being honest. I hate that I feel like I'm just a second option. I gave you 80 long months, and all I have is some paranoid thoughts I can't look past. Number 90 of only 250 motorcycles built worldwide, this bike is as rare as a precious jewel. Everything on this bike just oozes quality. The gorgeous paint scheme and the stunning body graphics are derived from Jules Cluzel and Lorenzo Zanetti's race bikes. To certify the authenticity of each bike being drenched in race livery, we have the racer's autographs imbibed on the tank. Number 16 belongs to Cluzel, which is what we can see here, and number 87 belongs to Lorenzo Zanetti. In F3RC, the letters RC stand for Reparto Corse, which is Italian for racing team, implying MV Agusta's factory racing team currently competing in World Superbike Championship and the Supersport World Championship. Also, for those who aren't aware, MV in MV Agusta stands for Meccanica Varghera, where an Italian word Meccanica means mechanics and Verghera is the village where these machines were first made. The engine of this bike is universally regarded as the most advanced and powerful mid-sized power unit. It's an inline unit with three cylinders tilted 35 degrees to the front with double overhead camshaft timing system with four valves per cylinder, all titanium. No wonder it weighs a mere 52 kgs. We get a closed deck shell cast crankcase with integral bores. The MV ICS system and the adoption of titanium intake and exhaust valves, slipper clutch and a counter-rotating crankshaft technology taken straight from the MotoGP, all of this improves the handling and engine balance. The 798cc inline 3 powerhouse puts out 148 horses at 13,000 rpm and 88 Nm of torque at 10,600 rpm. We get a 6 speed gearbox. And when you have 148 horses packed into a machine weighing a mere 173 kilos, the end result is like the strength of the hulk being sent into the body of Quicksilver. No wonder the top speed claim for this bike is 270 km per hour. Talking about the chassis, the frame is a combination of steel tubing and aluminium side plates that hug the engine tightly to stick to the compact yet streamlined bodywork design theme. Talking about the suspension, we get 43mm Marzocchi upside down front forks that are adjustable for preload, compression and rebound damping. At the back, we get a Saks Monoshock with a nitrogen reservoir which is fully adjustable as well. Talking about the brakes, we get dual 320mm discs up front with Brembo monoblocks and a single 220mm disc at the back. The tires are Pirelli Diablo Rosso Corsa with a 120x70 tire up front and a 180x55 tire at the back. Then we have the electronics, the MV ICS which stands for Motor and Vehicle Integrated Control System. Now this is a full ride-by-wire tech which provides for ideal throttle body opening. We then have four engine map options namely Normal, Rain, Sport and Custom. We have two ABS modes namely ABS Race and ABS Normal. We then get eight levels of traction control wherein traction control can also be switched off completely. We also get a dual direction quick shifter which works for clutchless upshifts as well as downshifts.
Yes, I 